it's Megan. I hope you're having an awesome start to your weekend. I have been running around like a maniac today. <laughs> it's like 5 p.m. I think on Saturday and I am exhausted. I burned all my energy this morning for sure and I woke up at like 8 a.m. just naturally which I don't really care what time I wake up naturally as long as it is like when I feel fully rested. So I kind of like leisurely scrolled through Instagram and I watched a video by Mia Maples. I really, really like her videos. And I like did my makeup and everything. And then I went downstairs and I was just like a steamroller. And I, um, I'll show you everything we did, but I built a like unit for a like coffee area in our kitchen um and then me and my mom did a huge project of like reorganizing our pantry which it was just like you know how there's like a final straw <laughs> like you can ignore a problem for a really long time and then there's just like a final straw and we were like yelling at each other about it because I was like where does this go and it was just like <laughs> both of us were like this is insane let's just tackle this problem so we did that it took hours and oh my gosh we hope that our system now works better we did like a <laughs> like a lesson with my dad and my sister and us obviously and we're just like this is where this goes this is where this goes because it's like once you put one thing like out of place it's like a domino effect and just thinking about that um if you guys have little kids or if you want to be nostalgic mr rogers neighborhood is pretty much all on amazon prime and i rewatched the episode where they do like the dominoes and Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So just thinking about that reminded me of Mr. Rogers. And um, yeah, so we did those projects this morning. It took everything out of me. And now I'm just like, okay, I just want to like sit and do nothing. Um, I scrolled on Instagram for a while um, after we finished the pantry project because I was just like, I just need to sit. And then my, <laughs> one like weird thing that I've been doing but maybe you guys have too or maybe I'm just a weirdo um I've been walking around our house like in like loops so I'll like walk around like our kitchen and our whole downstairs area just like walking around as if I'm taking a walk because even though it's like nice outside it's super super windy and I haven't felt like actually going out to take a walk. So instead of doing that, I'll just like walk around our house. And at least then I feel like I'm getting some exercise and like some movement. Um, but yeah, that's just like some weird thing that I've been doing. But I'll probably sit down for a little while and read my current book. So I finished The Paris Hours last weekend or earlier this week. All the days were together. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It was a great historical fiction book and there were four main characters. It seemed like there was like tons of characters off the bat um, but there really are like four main characters and I really liked all the different storylines and how they all came together in the end and it was like a satisfying ending as well. It was like I don't I don't want to spoil it but it was one that kept you thinking after it ended so that was really really good I definitely enjoyed that and then I've been reading this book which is Hour of the Assassin and I also got this from Book of the Month last month in March um and I never got around to reading it so I decided to pick it up for this week because I tried to read at least one book a week um I was trying to do two books a week, but I was just, it, I was, <laughs> you guys know how I am. I put like a lot of pressure on myself and then it takes all the fun out of it. So I was like, why am I forcing myself to read when it's just supposed to be fun? Like it was, 
I'm just weird like that. So I figured out I was doing that. I stopped doing that and now I just read as I have time to and want to. And so I'll probably finish this this week and I'm about halfway done. So um, it's definitely like a complete like different book that I don't know, it just like satisfied a different part of what I like to read about or hear about. It reminds me a lot of like Scandal and things like that that are based in DC and are about like the government and it's like it's not really about the government but it's like based in that area. So it has interesting things with like senators and just different stuff like that. I don't really read a lot of books. I don't think I've read any books um, with that as like the location. So definitely has a lot of interesting details to it and it's about like the main character being framed for this murder and <laughs> it's like totally up my alley. So I've been really really enjoying this one and it's just like, I don't know, it's just like a it's not a light subject, but it's like an easy read. It's not like a complex, dense book. Like, um, All the Light I Cannot, We Cannot See, that was a very dense book and it took me a lot longer to read than other books. So this book, definitely easy. It's exactly what I needed right now. And as you can probably tell, the sun is going in and out. It's been a sunny day. It's actually been pretty sunny lately, but we've been having like crazy weather. Like, I think like 30 minutes from us, they got hail the other day. We've been having like ridiculous wind gusts. And the other day, it sounded like literally a freight train was like in our backyard. Like, it was so, so loud and just like scary with such high winds. So today has seemed pretty normal and tomorrow is Easter but it won't feel like it probably since we'll not really be spending it with our family like we normally do. So we're gonna try to do like a FaceTime or something with our grandparents and our other family members but it's just, you know, it's just kind of sucky that it is this time of year but I don't know, trying to make the best of it. Um, and all that good stuff. So I'm probably gonna head downstairs. Oh, I'll show you guys my projects in our kitchen and then I'll probably get to reading this book for a little bit. So this is the shelf that I was building today. I bought it on Wayfair last week and so I got it to store my like coffee stuff. So I decided to keep my Nespresso over here on the like counter and then just use this for like storage. So I put my pods in here. My mom had this container already. I have my coffee frother and this week I also got these um, coffee syrups. So in Brad Bucks, if you guys watch Brad Gor Goreski, I don't know how to say his name, Gorski's um, Instagram stories, this is the syrup he puts in his husband's coffee every day. And so I've been dying to try it. It is so, so good. It tastes just like Starbucks or Dunkin'. It's amazing. So it, um, I got a set that came with that, the salted chocolate caramel and pumpkin pie. So those are going to be really fun and they don't have to be refrigerated. And then when we were cleaning out our cabinets, we found these cups that we had when we were kids and I just love these so much as Pooh Bear and Tigger and <laughs> they're just so so cute so I'm gonna have those up here for now and I'm gonna order like a mug like tree so I can hang some of my mugs here because we don't have lots of space in our uh, like cabinets so we have that and then we have my backup pods so my iced, the instant iced coffee, and then my mom had this container that we put my dad's sweetener in there, so that's what's in there. And then down here we have the Dash egg cooker and our mini food processor, so just like a nice little unit. I think it was under $60, and it was pretty easy to assemble, but... <laughs> I don't assemble much furniture, so it was frustrating for me at times. And the wheels were really hard to put on. You had to like really like shove them in there. So that is my little coffee bar station. 
And then here is me and my mom's handiwork in our pantry. So we tried to put like everything in these containers because our pantry is really deep, but stuff gets like lost back there. So um, putting them in here, hopefully we'll be able to keep it more organized. And we have this whole section of popcorn stuff. I call it Popcorn Alley. I don't know why, I just really like that name. And this thing is cool. You like put the kernels down there, then you put butter up here, and it like pops and melts the butter at the same time. So we'll probably use that tonight. And then we just have paper towels and a platter down there, and then like extra sugar and flour. So we're pretty proud about this and hopefully we can all keep it organized because it feels so good for it to look like this right now. While I'm showing you guys organization stuff, I got these online from an Amazon seller that, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Obviously it's sunglasses um, drawers or just normal glasses and I have a lot of sunglasses. This isn't even all of them. So I want to get two more, a set of two more of these. So they're um, like wide and each have two drawers, which I love. And then they stack. So I want to get two more. Um, I love sunglasses. I love trying different ones and different styles. And like, I just need to be able to see them. That is my problem. So... I really, really love this organization and I think it was like 20 or $25 for two of these. So um, enough space for 12 sunglasses and it's just really nice. Like you can fully pull out the drawers and yeah. So I think there was only like one pair of my sunglasses that wouldn't fit, but because they're like really big, but most of my sunglasses do fit. So I definitely would recommend these. I think they're, yeah, they're sold out right now. That's why I didn't order another pack, but I really, really recommend these and I'll link them below just so you guys can keep them in mind and you can get like a notification if they come back in stock. Yesterday was my mom's birthday and I made her these cupcakes. They were strawberry funfetti and they are so cute and i put them in i'll take this one as mine um but they have little like heart wrappers and like different colored sugar crystals on top and they were super super yummy obviously we're gonna eat some more tonight and we're gonna watch the new trolls movie <laughs> perfect birthday celebration day two one of mom's birthday presents was some hand soap which is Definitely funny during this time, which uh, thankfully we do have a lot of hand soap, but this one was so cute We decided to open it up right away and it's Bath and Body Works Somebody Loves You and it's sprinkled donut scented and Obviously, we've been using it a lot. We only opened it last night. It's like a sixth of it is missing already But it's really really good and really cute on our sink this is what a strawberry funfetti cupcake looks like. Some fun sprinkles on the inside and it just has like a slight strawberry flavor to me but it's really really good, especially with the vanilla icing. From us for my mom's birthday, we got her this Lego set Harry Potter, Hagrid's Hut, Buckbeak's Rescue. So we're gonna get on with that at some point, hopefully when she can help with her broken wrist. I'll give you guys an update in a minute. Um, and then we also got this Harry Potter Hogwarts Express Lego set, which is so cool. We're so excited to play with these. And let's do a drum roll because we're getting her last amazing present now. Brrr, drum roll, please. MacBook Air in gold, baby. <laughs> Finally, mom's trading up. <laughs> We've been wanting to get her this for a long time. It's on sale right now. Can't wait. And do you want to show your wrist really quick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's healing. It's healing. <laughs> it matches your shirt, like, exactly. Yeah. I get a lot of, when I have seen a few people in the world, they are like, wow, that's a pretty cast. And on your video chats. <laughs> yeah. Like, at work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everyone's thinking of you, Mom, Thank so you. happy birthday. Glad you're feeling better. 
So we're gonna use this popcorn popper thing that we put half a cup of popcorn kernels and then butter on top and it's supposed to only take two and a half minutes for the popcorn to pop and the butter to drip into the popcorn. So let's see what happens. It hurts my eyes. Really? <laughs> like the black dots. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, from back here I don't see the dots so much. Oh. So. <laughs> yeah, I should have seen them back here. That's way easier to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. There's not many kernels. Mm, it smells good. Wow. That's so cool. So yeah, melted butter. Oh, be careful. Whoa. <laughs> and then I guess you add salt. salt. And any toppings you want. Well, yeah. Seems a little burnt, maybe. <laughs> it's like <laughs> steaming or like smoking. I can't tell. We're currently starting to watch the Trolls World Tour movie from home with our homemade popcorn on opening weekend. How modern are we? <laughs> we just finished watching Trolls. <laughs> Interesting. It wasn't as like fun as we thought it would be like it's a good message but it's sad it's like people. sad yeah for like 95 percent of it it's like really really sad so yeah now we need to watch cake pop videos to make us happy before bed <laughs> Hey you guys, happy Sunday and happy Easter if you celebrate it. And I hope you guys all had a good Passover as well if you celebrated that earlier this week. It's just such a big week for many people and it's weird to be in your house the whole time for it. But um, I hope you were able to celebrate with some of your loved ones no matter what you celebrate. Um, we decided or I hope the rest of the family is dressing up, but we decided to dress up a little bit. So I'm wearing this dress. I'll show you guys it. I'll stand up and show you guys. But um, this is one of the dresses I got from Target a while ago. And I haven't got to wear it yet because we've been stuck inside ever since. Like, you can obviously dress up when you're home, but... I'd rather be in sweatpants, so um, today it is a celebratory day and I thought I would wear a dress for it. So, did my makeup kind of like monochrome, um, yeah, just kind of a bronzy, reddish toned. Um, I put in earrings for the first time in forever and my second hole is almost like completely closed up, so I'm glad I did that today. And hopefully, like this evening or something, I'm gonna film a video about um, like applying Impress nails, and I'm gonna use this set, which is called Curious Mind. It is so pretty, and I just think like really perfect for spring and Easter. So that's fun. Um, uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp has like an Easter theme going on, so I was playing that this morning, and I have like major morning voice. What time is it? 10 12 so yeah i'm gonna head downstairs i don't think we're really like doing easter baskets or anything like that um one we're older so we don't really care as much and also my mom's hand is broken so <laughs> usually she does the easter baskets maybe i should have done them but we talked about it and we didn't want to do it so anyway we'll probably have some reese's eggs that is our favorite easter candy and yeah just kind of like another chill day around the house you can't even see me but um this is the dress and i love it i put my hand through the belt um oh my gosh it is so so cute i love how it flares out a little on the bottom and it's like a full button up and it has like a little bit of a puff sleeve i just think it's so so adorable so if they still have it on target i'll link it down below I think it's really really nice it's like a denim material and doesn't seem see-through i'm wearing um like little biker shorts by jockey and i don't have like any like transparency issues so i don't even know if you would have to wear 
anything under it like obviously I'm just home so I definitely don't care but um yeah I'm not seeing anything exposed so that's good but yeah if the rest of the fam dresses up we'll probably take a picture um my dad really wanted to dress up which I thought was really cute so um yeah we'll see This morning's coffee is the hazelnut pod and I put a little of the dark chocolate syrup in there at the bottom of the cup before I like brewed the coffee. Then I use my Oatly Barista milk um, and I foam that in our uh, milk frother. And then I topped it off with the Ghirardelli caramel sauce. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Mom surprised us and did put together Easter baskets for us. Oh my gosh. Here's my dad's and my mom's. Oh, she gave herself a chocolate wand from Harry Potter. And she found this card in her stash. This is like a vintage card. Who knows when it was from? I don't think it says a year on it, but it's like fuzzy. Oh my gosh, it is so, so adorable. So this was a really fun surprise. I'm still waiting for Rachel to wake up so we can open our baskets together. This could be any day of the year. No, when do we know. ever get this dressed up? Hold this up? I don't want to hold that up. Well, this is Easter. Then you know it's Easter. Oh, here, all right. Well, you stand there, you hold it up. Okay. Well, first of all, this is like a video, so I can just take a still. Oh, yeah. You can see some of the stuff in the background. How do we know any of that is good? We don't. <laughs> Basket. Dad <laughs> wants it in the frame. We can do we some without it. it. You can see my arm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought we could see your arm. No. All right, crunch in to see her arm. <laughs> Beard. <laughs> oh, I know. We have a lot of things that we have this year. <laughs> she just accidentally dumped my whole Easter basket. Oh. We just took like a bajillion photos. I saw one thing that I really like. Ocean City ornaments with the crab. And mom's gonna write on the back of it, 2020 Easter in quarantine <laughs> to remember it forever. But we have to look through all the eggs to find certain ones with like little presents. And Rachel got me this Kinder Joy egg. Which what has like a little toy in it or something? It's toy and it's like a cream. Mmm. Like okay. We'll have to try that. We're watching Harry Potter on Easter. Oh, I think the Andrea Bocelli thing is on. But this is such a good scene. We'll just wait till this is over. So now that we're in the Harry Potter spirit, we're gonna start this Hogwarts Express uh, Lego set and each of the different bags has like a different part of it so I just built Ron. Which character is this mom? That looks to me like Lupin. Oh yeah. Oh it says it on there. Yep. Remus Lupin. Cool. So he has like a little briefcase and Ron has his wand. And then I'm um, this first bag is like the train uh platform and then it like builds on it and then three and four is the train which will be really really exciting all right so here's the first bag king's cross station oh we have to show the coolest part so there's the nine and three quarter sign we have the wanted poster and then this rachel is the nine and three quarters like portal so it has like cool blocks that allow it to twist around so Ron can go through the portal <laughs> and fall on the other side apparently. Earlier we did a FaceTime with my grandma which was really nice to see her and then we just finished up a Zoom call with my aunts, uncles, and cousins and my Gigi and Grampy and <laughs> that was really cool. It was like a lot easier than we thought it would be because I mean I use like Teams and WebEx at work but obviously I've been hearing about Zoom everywhere and my Gigi and Grampy could figure out on their own which I was so proud of them and it was just really really nice to be able to see everyone and catch up for I think we were on for like an hour and yeah so I'm still dressed up I feel like I feel so normal in this outfit like not 
in my <laughs> PJs and sweatpants. But I think Rach and I are gonna keep going with our Harry Potter Legos. And then we'll start dinner in a little bit. And then it'll be the start of the work week again. Let's not think about that part though. So we just put together the second bag of stuff. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. It's these little blocks that say the boy who lived and it's the Daily Prophet newspaper. And I think, what, they just go back here, snap those in. And then we have Harry over here with his wand and his cute glasses. And then we have Ron and Scabbers and the rotating thing. That is just so cool. And then we have like a whole bridge with Lupin and a clock. This is really cool. The, <laughs> what are they called? The arms? Mm -hmm. The hands of the clock actually like move. It's so cool. So yeah, we are making progress on this and we're watching the, um, I think this is the Half-Blood Prince movie um, currently. I don't even think we showed you guys, but Rachel got another Lego set for herself, and this is the Tokyo architecture set. And, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so cool. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so many pieces! And now we're working on the train, and mm -hmm. look how cool it is when it has like the Technic pieces. That's what allows it to like twist and stuff. <sighs> Super fun! I just filmed my video on how to apply impressed nails and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Obviously I have to edit it and stuff, but I think I said like everything I wanted to and I just had a good feeling when I was filming it. So I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I, I think it's already up. I think it went up on Thursday. Um, so you guys are seeing this on the weekend. So if you haven't seen it yet, I will link it down below. I would love your support on that video because I would love for Impress to like notice me. And I don't know, I would love to work with Impress Nails because I've loved them for so long. And yeah, I just love their nails. So I think we are about to have dinner. So I'm gonna go downstairs. We got this yummy Easter dinner from one of our local restaurants restaurants and it was like you picked it up and then you just heat it up so we have the mashed potatoes gravy cranberry sauce fresh bread and then ham and vegetables dinner is served we have everything from melt and then i made captain morgan ginger ales and a side salad so excited everyone already dug in so <laughs> i better get started so you guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. We've been watching the Harry Potter marathon on USA all day and it's been amazing. <laughs> it started, I think, with the fourth movie or the fifth movie? Fourth movie, fifth movie, I think the fifth movie um, we started watching. And now we're on part one of the Deathly Hallows and <sighs> it's just been a great, thing because we never really watch like movie marathons but this is kind of the perfect time to do it so that tv network is really smart to do it during this because we actually have the time to sit in front of the tv or have the tv running like all day so that was fun and oh, playing with our legos glad we got to do that and um i didn't really get to read much this weekend just a little bit yesterday but that's fine taking it easy where I can and I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing, do my skincare routine and get ready for bed for the work week. But I hope you guys had an awesome day. Thank you so so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you very soon. Bye!